Did you not say to me, I am not going to Bondi because you've got 60,000 followers and you don't want to go down there because you might be seen? That's exactly what I said. Babe, you're not Beyonce. Not everyone in Bondi is going to know who you are if you're going for a walk with, with Dion. Like, I did not understand that. That shit me so much. Rachel, you said this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. While everyone's getting ready for the dinner party, Dom suggests that Jack wears her G-string under her white pants. What? She has placed a sex toy in his butthole and now she wants to have him wear her undies. I think we all know who wears the pants in this relationship. I'll place a link to that video above. Coloreds, no, um, no, G-strings. No, 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 no. A G-string! Please. I will cross dress another night. Over at Selena's and Cody's apartment, Selena says that they are in the best place they've been during the experiment. And she says she has locked up their baggage with all the red flags and thrown it in the Titanic. And I've put the past in the past and that's locked up and thrown away with the Titanic. And I feel like Cody has done the same. Like he has made a lot of effort. Dion is wearing a statement jacket and is bamboozled by Caroline's behavior. Carolina is complaining about having nothing in common with Dion while the camera pans down to her sandals which are the same brand as Dion's jacket. Matt is being goofy and Kate is robotic. I was using them, just doing a bit of manscaping. Oh, nice. What do you need? I need you to carefully cut those out. Since Matt got a struck on his physical touch love language, he switched things up to gift gifting and Kate's not feeling it either. I'm telling you that there's no affection between us. I'm telling you there's no chemistry. And he's like, everything's going amazing. <sighs> Spontaneous Fun Owl wants to involve Sam in his dinner party dance, but Sam thinks it's too immature. I think tonight at the dinner party, Al wants to do a dance together. And that makes me wonder, like, it's just whether or not we're compatible. Dominica's face beat is lit. This is a BB face beat. Ooh. What you know about a face beat? You can't even spell face beats! Oh. Ella's walking on her tippy toes around Mitch while they get ready. And we don't want him to get worked up. And at the dinner party venue, Ella and Mitch were the first to arrive and Brent and Tamara arrive next. Tamara pokes at Mitch and Ella's relationship and Mitch reckons there are certain egos and big voices looking for arguments in a group setting and he doesn't want to be asked questions he doesn't want to answer. You've got certain egos and big voices looking for an argument but when people asking me questions that I don't want to answer or I don't feel unnecessary to answer, just like, oh yeah, it just frustrates me. Dominica wants to gossip about everyone else. They're now discussing that Jess has left Daniel. You told me uh, that Jess had left. Yeah, and then Daniel. Dion says he's doing the Celine Dion tonight and walking in all by himself. I'm doing the Celine Dion tonight, all by myself. John walks in alone and tells the group about Carolina leaving him after he went all out for her. He brought the letter to the dinner party and that feels like a weird move to make everyone believe his story. Like, what the hell? Oh. Ian says Carolina was concerned about going to Bundy with him because she has 60,000 followers. And Kate is being delusional and says if Matt keeps being nice, then she doesn't even want to be his friend. What, what do you mean by that? Ella and Celine are talking to Matt about how nice he is for getting Kate's perfume because it is the last thing their bare minimum husband would do for them. Meanwhile, Kate tells the girls how much she hates Matt and cannot understand why he is nice to her when she is so mean to him. Eventually. Carolina has arrived and Dom can't believe she is wearing angelic white. She's wearing angelic white? She's no angel. Carolina tells Liv and Jackson that Dion doesn't eat breakfast and doesn't like coffee, rap, idiom or the gym. Did I forget anything? Thank you. No. Ella wants to know what attributes Carolina wants. 
Jack asked Carolina to point out someone out that would make more sense to her as a husband, but Daniel is elsewhere. Carolina says she is Latina and wants passion. Now, why are we playing the race card? When things go wrong or don't go in your favor, the race card or the ethnicity card is pulled out. And Alessandra calls her out on it too. She is not about that bull crap. We all know that Dom carries this show and we love it when she talks. Babe, you're not Beyonce. Not everyone in Bondi is going to know who you are if you're going for a walk with, with Dion. Oh my gee. Yeah! Like, I did not understand that. That shit me so much. I'm pre menstrual and I'm about to lose my shit on this bitch. I dare ya. Dom, I dare ya. Dom drills Carolina asking what her ex has been like. Well, it turns out the men that had to put up with her nonsense. The last ex cheated on her, so... Yes, my ex was a cheater, but even him did everything that I've ever asked for. Apart from cheating on you? Yeah. Yeah. Carolina says she can't emotionally connect with Dion because he had a perfect upbringing, no struggle. Did she read or listen to him read the letter? Wait a second, you were trying? Fuck no! You were trying! You were trying! Oh my god! Oh. John says he doesn't match people based on struggle, but, um, John, Olivia and Jackson were matched on their traumas. Maybe John has had selective amnesia. Leave. 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 Uh, Ella says I love you but quickly backtrack so that Mitch won't leave her. Ella, I love you. <laughs> Could you imagine if I dropped that on you tonight? I think you'd be leaving tomorrow. <laughs> Dom says she's holding herself back which she did not do great at because she tells Mitch that Ella talked to her about his desire to leave. Mitch says he's struggling with the experiment and as an introvert I could relate to his explanation. Dom doesn't buy it and reveals in her confessional she held back out of respect for Ella. We stand Dom, we stand. Kate reveals to Tamara she doesn't like Matt more each second. That's a whole lot of dislike babes. What's happening? Kate tells Matt that attraction has gone backward. Now, how has it gone backward if it has never ever moved forward? Hmm? It's very confusing. Anyway, Kate's now telling Matt that she doesn't like his personality at this point, and Matt tells the camera that the Titanic it hasn't sunk yet. I think we've hit that iceberg. Al has now broken out in dance. He throws his blazer on Sam and she is not impressed. Sam doesn't think she has the patience nor the energy to carry him through his growth phase. I don't have the energy to carry him through that and I feel like it's on me. Al is telling Mitch and Brent that he told Sam's dad he sits around and plays video games all day. Mitch says he should have lied and Brent tells him he should have come up with something better. And the producers jump on that and give Al a second take. In my spare time, I like to trade stocks. I like to invest in real estate. And I like to, um, I like to have children with your daughter. At Dion's confessional, he says it hurts to feel underappreciated and wipes away his tears. It's not a feeling you would wish upon your worst enemy. He says he'll... I'm going to ask it point blank. Are you willing to give this a shot? And Carolina have a sit down and Dion asks her if she thinks they can make it work. She says since she's physically present... That's a good sign. And Dion is just going to wait it out until tomorrow, Sunday night, and hope for the best. Well, I guess we'll have to wait for Sunday night. And knowing what we know, we know that nah, it ain't, it ain't going well for you, Dion. It ain't going well for you, sir.
Did you not say to me, I am not going to Bondi because you've got 60,000 followers and you don't want to go down there because you might be seen? That's exactly what I said. Babe, you're not Beyonce. Not everyone in Bondi is going to know who you are if you're going for a walk with, with Dion. Like, I did not understand that. That shit me so much. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.